this video, we'll learn how to classify a polygon. First, let's talk about what a polygon is. This prefix poly means many, so a polygon is just a many-sided shape. It's a generic word to represent all shapes that have multiple sides. All four shapes in this diagram are polygons, but there's actually two different types of polygons here. The ones on the left are convex polygons, and the ones on the right are concave polygons. If you look closely, you'll notice the two polygons on the right are sort of caved in at certain points. On the upper picture, at this point, it's like the two sides have caved into the middle. In the polygon that looks like a star, that's happened at multiple points. If a polygon looks like this, where some of the sides look to have caved in, it's called concave. Otherwise, it's convex. You'll spend most of your time focused on convex polygons in geometry. What makes a polygon convex technically is if you can take any two vertices on the polygon and connect them with a line, and that line stays inside the polygon, then it's convex. So in this polygon, it's convex because any two points that I pick that are vertices of this polygon, if I connect them, that line is inside the polygon. Whereas if I go over to the star-like polygon and pick these two vertices and connect them with a line, that line has left the polygon. So that's the technical definition of what makes a shape convex versus concave. By the way, these purple lines I've been drawing are diagonals. And that's an important vocabulary word to know about polygons. If you take two non-adjacent vertices like these and connect them with a line, you've created a diagonal. Now, we can classify polygons beyond just as convex and concave based on their number of sides. So if you know the number of sides of the polygon, you can name it. A triangle has three sides, a quadrilateral, four sides, and as we go on, we'll just keep adding a side each time. So a pentagon has five, a hexagon six, heptagon seven, octagon eight, nonagon nine, and decagon ten. It is important that you know all of these words from memory. It might help to think about the prefixes and think if you notice them from any other words or any other languages that you might know. If we go beyond 10 sided shape, then and have like a bunch of sides, like a hundred sided polygon, then we usually will just call it an n gon, where instead of n, you'll say however many sides it has. So an n gon would have n sides. And if I was to talk about a 100 gon, that would just be a polygon with 100 sides. So let's go back up to the original four polygons and name them. This first one here has three sides, so it's a triangle. Moving to the right, there's one, two, three, four, five sides, so it's a pentagon. It's a concave pentagon. This one over here, moving to the bottom left, has one, two, three, four, five sides as well, but this time it's a convex pentagon. And the last one, the star, has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sides, that makes it a concave decagon. So just practice and try to memorize all of those words and then you'll be able to classify polygons with no trouble.